In today's tutorial, I will show you how to host a Marin app on Render completely for free. You will be able to see your Marin app at a randomly generated URL that Render gives you, such as the one that you see here. And anything that you are able to do on your Marin app on your local machine, you will be able to do at this URL that Render gives you. Also, just before we begin, this is what my Marin app will look like. I have both my client and server in the same repo, but if you have two separate repos, one for your front end and one for your back end, the steps will still be very similar. To get started, go to render.com and create an account if you don't have one already. Then go to your dashboard and this is what it should look like. Click on new and we will be deploying our back end first. So click web service. Make sure the first option is selected where it says build and deploy from a Git repository. Click next. Once you're on this page, depending on how you set up your render account, you should see either all your GitHub repos or just some of your GitHub repos. If you don't see your GitHub repo in this list, just click configure account and just follow the instructions on the next page to give render permission to view your Git repo so that you see it in the list here. Once you see your Git repo, just click connect. For the name, just type in whatever you want. I'll just do example backend for right now. Specify your region, specify the branch you wanna deploy. I will just be doing main for this example. For the root directory option, since I have both my front end and back end in the same repo, I will need to specify which folder acts as the root directory. And since I'm deploying my back end right now, I will specify my server folder, which has all my back end related files as the root directory. Going back to my project structure, you can see I have my client folder and server folder. And so I'll be specifying that my server folder should act as my root directory for my back end. Going back to render, I'll just type in server now. Also, just a quick note, if you have both your front end and back end in completely separate repos, then you don't have to fill in anything for this value and you can just leave it blank. For runtime, just make sure node is selected. For the build command, just type in npm install. Scrolling down for the start command, just type in npm start. For the instance type, just select free and then scroll down and click advanced. Here, you can add any environment variables that you need for your backend. For example, in my backend, I'm using an environment variable to load my Mongo URI string. So I can add that here by clicking add environment variable and then pasting in the key. Then I can just paste in my value here. Right now, I just do some random value, but you would just put your actual Mongo URI string inside this box. Once you've added all your environment variables, we can now scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and just click create web service. I will resume this video once the deployment is done. The deployment is now complete. And if I go to the URL that render generated for me, then we know that the backend is not working because of this message. Now I will show you the steps to deploy your front end. Going back to the render dashboard, click new static site, select the Git repo for your front end. But since my front end and backend are in the same repo, I would just select my repo again. For name, I'll just do example front end. For branch, I'll do main. For my root directory, I will do client since that's where all my front end files live. But if you have your front end in a separate repo from your back end, you can just leave this value blank. For the build command, just do npm run build. And for the published directory, just do build. If we click on advanced, we can also add more environment variables if we need to. In my specific project, I'm using an environment variable to specify the back end URL that my friend and should be using. So I will add it here. The key is React App Backend URL. And the value will be the URL of my backend app that I uploaded earlier. So this is a URL that render generated for us. So I'll copy this value and paste it here as the backend URL. Once you've populated all your environment variables, you can scroll all the way down and just click create static site. I will resume this video once the deployment is complete. The front end deployment is now complete. And if I click on the URL that render generated for us, this is the website that I now see. If we look at the network console, once I log in, you can see that it's using the URL that I specified inside the environment variable, which is the URL of our backend app. And since we're seeing a 200 OK response, that means our backend is working as expected. And that is the end of this Mern app hosting tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.